Yes, Honorable Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I believe, um, as I indicated, we can spend some 15 minutes on these questions that the Minister for Energy shall have to answer. But Mr. Speaker, you may, you may, in your own wisdom, ask the Honorable Member to just indicate the names as provided for under question asterisk 457 and spare us the, 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 details. the <laughs> details in the in the pronunciation of those names. Yes, yeah, I <laughs> Order, order, order. Yes, yeah, sort of you. No, official. No, the boy coming is my Honorable leader, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, with all, with all respect to the majority leader and leader of government business, the honorable members who have to ask the minister for energy those questions. The speaker, as you yourself and him have noted, are constituency specific questions. And the constituencies are demarcated more importantly with the name of communities and villages. And Mr. Speaker, the leader knows that some of these questions measure and affect the standing of honorable members of parliament <laughs> and if they want to be received home well we are speaking even sometimes when you get the pronunciation late, uh, wrong you are quizzed so leader abandon this mission and allow the honorable member to ask the question as was admitted by right honorable speaker <laughs> but but, but to save time, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, how I wish, how I wish I knew the electoral areas in the Swami constituency. <laughs> so, leader, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Yes, honourable leader. Mr. Speaker, respectfully. Mr. Speaker, respectfully. <laughs> Our uh, orders provide for you to be responsible for the observance of order in this house. Anything that may lead to chaos. <laughs> for the avoidance of doubt. For Mr. Speaker, for the avoidance of doubt, I read, I read Order 98. Order, order. I, I can't doubt, understand the excitement coming from the majority side. I, I, what is the cause of this huge excitement? The leader is on the floor. Please, let's listen to him. Mr. Speaker, as you rightly observed, is huge excitement that may lead to chaos. <laughs> and Mr. Speaker, Order 98 provides the Speaker shall be responsible for the observance of order in the House and of the rules of debate. 
and his decision upon any point of order shall not be open to appeal and shall not be reviewed by the House except upon a substantive motion made after notice. Mr. Speaker, I will not further elucidate on this order. I will leave it to you. I will leave it to you. Whatever your preference is, I will leave it to you. Um, I am being invited to ensure that there is order. That is my responsibility anyway uh, when I'm presiding. Um, I'm sure colleague lawyers are familiar with uh, the case Rinchua versus Redua. Uh, colleague lawyers know. And occasioned a situation where some lawyers were complaining that certain words which were being complained of uh, were difficult to pronounce in the courtroom. Uh, Mr. Justice Zapalu, then presiding, before he became the Chief Justice, said that no court is contaminated by profanity because it is pronounced by. This is a, the question refers to communities. And it is it is important. It is important that those communities are identified by name and the communities know that their MP represents them. One of the charges in my recent tours, my community, was that, Honorable, when you go on radio, you don't mention our community by name. Today, the MP has the opportunity to mention their communities on the floor of the house. I think we should not. So, Honorable Minister, please take the, the seat. Honorable Minister for Energy may take the seat. Mr. Speaker, we are in your hands. Question number 457, in the name of Mr. John Frumpong, or say, member for Abrim. Uh, yeah.